Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 3. As today, we turn our attention to the north, where we've got diamonds to steal, a patrol to intercept, and eventually, Merc's Finest to rescue. Oh, assuming he needs to be rescued, I mean. He is Merc's Finest, after all. Heck, maybe he'll be the one rescuing us. But first, we've got a level up and local events to take care of, so... Let's stay focused on that. Now, uh, as far as Meltdown goes, I think our best bet is to go for collateral damage. She's already the master of the machine gun, but this will just make her even more effective, in theory. Which means we need at least two more strength perks in order to actually unlock collateral damage. And given that we are not a grenadier, we're not a shotgunner, we're not a melee character... I think it's got to be these two, Shock Assault and Ironclad. But of course we have no heavy armor either, so we'll start with Shock Assault, which is compatible with her pistols. And then hopefully we'll pick up some decent heavy armor by the time she hits level 6. Still holding off on Rhett for now. Also, just real quick, um, I should not have recruited Igor. Not because he's a bad character, but because I it just completely slipped my mind that he does not get on with Steroid, which I knew from Jagged Alliance too. I even mentioned, I think, that he was not my first pick. You know, I had him on my list of possibilities, but I had ranked him low because Steroid was higher on the list, and I knew the two weren't compatible. But, you know, I was just in such a hurry to grab a replacement after Grizzly started haggling, and I decided that Thor and Tex were too expensive... So, uh, at a glance, I saw that Igor was compatible with Kalina and Larry. I just forgot to double-check him against the other new recruits. Not the end of the world, I suppose, but, you know, it's, it's not going to do steroid any favors. Dude's already got issues with action points before you add negative morale modifiers into the mix. Short term, we can manage it, because fortunately he does get on with Kalina and Larry. That's why I brought him on, at least part of why. So, in theory, once we pick up Larry, it should, at least short-term, offset the negative penalties for having Igor with us. But long-term, we're going to have to cut Igor loose. Once his contract's up, we'll grab someone else. We'll figure it out. That said, we've got business in Remville, so let's get to it. Hey, dumbass! I'm all done! Um, Michael here. Yeah, this is going to get awkward pretty quick. Oh, that's... Uh, that's an interesting looking machete. Oh, that must be the thing. <laughs> right, the thing. Smiley, standing right in the middle of it all. Kid's got no survival instinct. Okay, well, um... Okay. We are almost certainly in for a fight here. So let's see how close we can get without setting them off. You want something? In fact, if we yep, can okay. creep around the side here, we've got an opening in the wall. Being quiet ain't my strong suit. Unless those bushes are impenetrable, I guess. Sucks. That is also a thing that could happen. What if I said no? Meltdown here! Who's there? Ah, it's you. Anybody got stuck? Alright, let's just see if we can set up. Dad love me. Boss Bluebell. Oh. Um. You think you can kidnap my girl and leave? Think again. You are so dead. Oh, you silly little boy. Please, Boo Boo, he's not serious. I have been lenient, but now this boy of yours has crossed the line. Ha <laughs> ha! The mercs have appeared. Time for you to meet your maker, boss blubber. Normally I would kill you on the spot for that little insult. But I made a promise to Molly. Stand down, boys. We'll try and talk this out. 
What are you doing here? You must leave! Don't worry, my love. You're safe now. This monster will pay for everything he's done. Why? What have I done? I saved your life in the market, and I gave my money the home she deserves. What have I done? How am I a monster? You're Molly? That's it. You will gurgle in your own blood right now. Damn, this is some exciting stuff. Hang on, boss. Let me get some popcorn. Okay, could we uh, all just take a step back real quick and maybe talk this out like non-psychopaths? No offense, Meltdown. What do you want? Don't you see him? He kidnapped my girl and now he's mocking me. He didn't do anything like that. Why won't you listen? I know, love. He forced you to say that. Don't be afraid. It will be over in a moment. Okay, just for the sake of clarity, Molly, are you currently kidnapped? No. I ran away with Smiley because I didn't want to spend my youth in Lolise Rouge and end up an ugly old whore. And besides, he was so cute when he smiled at me like that. We'll be happy together, my love. You will see. We will buy a house and have children and... And bang this beautiful ragazza to the end of days. I'm meant to that. You've got a solid plan there, bambino. Yeah. You... you shut up! No, Smiley. I was being stupid. You are really nice, but... I decided I wanted a better life for myself. That's why I'm here with my boo-boo. No, this isn't right. I'll, I'll prove myself to you. Listen up, Mercs. If you don't want to help me, that's fine. I'll kill Boss Blows Bears myself and I'll get my girl back. Oh, wow. We got a badass over here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to say, Smiley, that really sounds like a terrible idea, but, um... I'll tell you what, why don't we go over what really happened in the market again, and uh, then I'll, I'll make my choice. The thugs working for this criminal here, they recognized Molly, and they wanted to take her from me. So I shot one of them. Damn, you're either brave or very stupid, bambino. They weren't one of my boys. They were smugglers. If you had killed one of my boys, you'd have been dead a long time ago. Well, the boss ordered them to stand down and let us escape. But he did that just because he had eyed my Molly and wanted her for himself. I must admit, that much is true. She is the best concubine I've ever had. You... Well, I mean, we already know Boss Plobear is a criminal. Dude hasn't exactly kept it a secret. He's, uh, he's actually been surprisingly open about his business. All right, so what happened after that? What happened at the church with Father Tooker? I knew that Bubu liked me a lot. When a man looks at me, I just know. Hey, and how about me, Bambina? Look into these deep, dark eyes, eh? No. So I asked the pastor to arrange a secret meeting with him after I told Smiley I needed to pray. I am sorry that I had to lie to you, Alejandro. But I didn't know any other way to get away from you. You... you whore! Whoa, That's what I am. Smiley. You knew that right from the start. But this was the only way to get what I wanted and save your life at the same time. I for one commend you on finding such a clever solution to a very difficult problem. Not sure you're really helping there, Livewire, but... but thank you. So you, you saved his life. How would you save my life? Those thugs would eventually find you. But Bubu promised me he would protect you. He knows that I'd be crying if they had you killed. Bubu? Oh, dear God, La Virgina Maria. I'm crying already. Oh, boy. Smiley, man. This is rough. 
I really was looking forward to recruiting you, but you are not making it easy to take your side here. I mean, I get it. It sucks. If I had to blame anyone here for this situation, it would be Molly. Because of her pretty unabashed opportunistic streak. Like, she clearly used Smiley to get out of Pantagruel, but then traded up the second the opportunity presented itself. But I mean, at the same time, we're not going to kill a bunch of people because Smiley can't accept he got dumped. Smiley, man, I think you got to take the L on this one. She's just not into you, and we've got more important things to do. Like rescuing your boss, you know, Biff, up north. But she's mine! You should be helping me get her back! You know, you can still be the hero of this story by letting the princess go. I'm going back to Arulco, and I will show everyone what a real mercenary is made of. See, si, that's a real man. Show them, Bambino. You can do it! <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, asshole. Goodbye, Smiley. I wish only the best for you. I am sure you will make some girl very happy. Whore. Whoa, buddy, come on. You gotta take it down like seven notches. You know, maybe it's for the best that we're not recruiting him. Kid seems to have some pretty serious issues with impulse control. Thank you. I've only just met my boo-boo. And for a moment I thought I would lose him. That's why we're here, apparently. Making the world safe for gangsters and whores. Yeah, th thanks for that, Mouse. Though, look, no one died. I'm going to call that a win. Or rather, I guess I should say that no one's died yet. Though that could still easily change. I should be working out. But we do now have an opportunity to get ourselves set up, so let's... Let's maybe stretch our legs uh -huh. and... Let us look at... Luigi, my friend, my first mate, my strong right hand that causes me to sin. I will go. Yes? Okay, we're huh? good. Oh, yes. No need to get huh? fancy here. We'll just hug cover wherever we can find it. There's a spirit in the woods. What? Affirmative. Um, Michael here. Uh, I was never good at hide-and-seek. So bossy. Oh, and Mouse. Yes. Running pretty short on spots here, but I guess I guess this'll do. Okie dokie. I'm good at being overlooked. Ready. Moving. So, uh, boss, we, uh, we good here? What? What's going on? Boss Bluebear, you send these ragazzi to pick me up and here I am. I'm really touched, even if it did take you a little while. But hey, I guess you were too busy with your new whore, eh? Guys, yeah. nice. please. As always, you talk too much, Luigi. And what is worse, you talked. Maybe I made a deal with somebody, boss. That's what we do, me and you. We do business. Or is it only me? What do you mean? Rumor has it you don't do much these days, boss. You're too busy enjoying your little queen, eh? But don't get me wrong. I would enjoy her as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh. You wish. My personal life is not a topic of discussion, Luigi. Your betrayal is... You're here because I need to make a statement. All must see what happens to those who betray me. Your personal life is the whole point, boss. You pay all your attention to a woman and none of it on the business. You need to step down. Permanently. You know I won't. I see you have turned my men against me, but maybe you are forgetting about the people I sent to find you. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, you only really hired us to bring him to you, not to protect you from him afterwards, but... 
I'm guessing you won't take it well if I actually say that. And we have backed you this far, I suppose. While Luigi has given us zero incentive to back him. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess we've got your back, boss. Let's be done with it already. Yeah, well, easier said than done. I'm flanked! Good golly, Miss Smalley, you might want to run for cover. Ah. Nice. Pide. Nice. And that's it for Meltdown. Though it already gives us a pretty huge advantage. I am, however, very concerned about Molly and Boss Blow Bear over there. All of this is for naught if either of them drops. Show you tough. I have multiple targets in sight. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that too. Aiming. First things first, let's get this guy off Molly. Oh, that is some hefty armor. Scratch that. Let's bust out the mouse trap. Careful. This mouse bites. Not a problem. Sorry, Luigi. You're bust to your prime. Ragazzi, ciao. Tonight, I'll cook in hell. Okay. I'm surrounded. Oh snap, I didn't even notice those red tiles. That was close. Joseph's got the perk that lets him attack anyone who moves adjacent. So we've got to take this guy at range. Which is somewhat complicated by the fact Hide that we still shoot. have Molly in the way. Game. Hide and shoot. That is my game. Nice. If you need me, I'll just be here. I shall not. This will surprise them. What? Oh, you know what I just realized? Bossville Bear is a gangster and Molly is his mall. How in the world did I miss that? It's so obvious now. Ready to shoot. And Molotov. Here goes something special. Wow, that Molly sucked. Moving to position. And the Molotov wasn't that good either. But I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not. Um, Michael here. Not trying to make a statement or anything. I just think Molly is really making this harder I can, than it needs to be. You know, get him. Which, to be fair, is probably why Boss Blow Bear likes her. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I am in dangerous territory here. You want something? Not yet, but stand by. I should be working. Just hold still, damn you! Okay, Joseph has to be our priority. And that'll do it. Thank you, Bobby. Also, Dexpop. Very nice. 
must make good shot to get rations. Grenadier's gotta go. As silent as a spirit in the world. Good surprise shot from here. Kalina. Fantastic. And Igor? Igor Dovich. Ready. You got this, buddy? Oh, car's on fire. I'm not sure when that happened, but that is a problem. Yes. No evildoer can stand before you. Which just leaves the sniper. Uh oh, time for me to find a mouse hole. You want something? Damn, I hope there's a lot of blood. Shake it off. You got this. We need more rations to stop missing shots, Glovny. You do not got this. Okay. Hey, there we go. Not enough, though. Wow. Je suis blessé. That'll leave a bruise. And I've been shot. Awesome. It has been a while. Mouse, yep. run. Sounds good to me. You have order. And regroup. Go. Come on. Yes. Heading out. MD, could you uh, please put my Ready. outsides back in? Thank you. Ready to um do stuff. Gotta say though, all things considered, aside from maybe that errant shot towards the end. Meltdown here. I think that went just about as well as we could have hoped. I appreciate it. Sucks we missed out on Smiley, but I mean, come on. You want something? I like the way you handle that little piece of business with Smiley. I am glad I did not have to kill him. <laughs> Killing is a messy business, and I don't care for messes. In appreciation for your help in avoiding a mess, please accept these diamonds. Oh, shiny. Nice. That's like $9,000. But, you know, we uh, we didn't do it for the diamonds. I know, and I appreciate that. But you helped me resolve the matter, and the reward is due. Take the diamonds or throw them away. I don't care. But let no one say that Boss Blobear doesn't pay his debts. Fair enough. Thanks. With that settled, we can finally discuss the untimely demise of my good friend Luigi. Why would you kill him? I didn't ask you to do that. This is something I had to do. He was my partner, and he betrayed my trust. The fuck you want? It was clear you wanted him dead. He's dead. Problem solved. What is problem? He's dead. You cannot kill a man like Luigi that way, like a dog. His death needs to be a statement. It needs to be done in front of witnesses. We are witness. <sighs> but I guess things like that don't matter to me as much as they used to. Here, take this. You did a good job finding him and eliminating a loose end for me. That deserves payment. I mean, what were we supposed to do then? I, I guess... I guess maybe we were supposed to let Boss Blow Bear get the killing shot, or... Or maybe Luigi was supposed to surrender at some point, and we just kind of overkilled him. Either way, though, that would be pretty risky with Molly right there in the middle of the fight. Alright, whatever. 
you're still going to tell us about the Major, right? Oh, the Major. Yes. After he stopped doing business with your current employer, he started selling the diamonds from his mines to me. <laughs> I sell them on the black market where they are mostly bought by Adonis. Your boss and the Major were friends not so long ago. Well, maybe partners is a better word. But something happened and their deal went sour. I don't know what it was. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that does... That does fit at least some of my previous speculation. So yeah, yeah, uh, basically the Legion was like a bludgeon, a tool, to get around the Grand Chien government when the previous president, the one who's kidnapped now, was threatening to renegotiate contracts with Adonis. Only then the Legion went rogue. So now Adonis is scrambling to try to do damage control. Which does also pretty much guarantee that Adonis is going to double-cross us at some point, too. In fact, I'll bet when we catch up with Biff that he'll tell us something similar, that, that he and his guys were also used as sacrificial pawns in Adonis' power play. Though Larry, Larry's actually a prisoner of the Legion right now, so he might have a similar story as well. Thanks, boss. Uh, I gotta go. Goodbye. Okay, so that's ten more diamonds we can sell to Tooker. And a marksmanship skill book. Which I would normally give to Kalina, but with our revised roster... Steroid is actually our best marksman. That is unexpected. Uh, hold on. Yeah, so I've currently got Tex, Grizzly, and Thor on the short list of potential hires. But I don't think any of them are really ideal marksman teachers either. And Buns? Buns has a lower marksmanship than I thought, huh? You know, maybe we'll just go full legendary once we can afford it. Bring in some crack shot just to tutor the rest of the squad for a while. I mean, Shadow's not much of a better shot, but bringing him in would make it easier to rehire Grizzly. Any cheese in here? Hey, look at this. Pretty. Oh, and look at that. A whole bunch of specialty rounds for shoddies. And the thing. Extreme damage bonus from strength. You don't say. That is less a machete and more, uh, a, what do you call them, um, a butcher's blade? Though I've got to say, I think I actually prefer the faster and more versatile balanced throwing knives, at least for mouse. And, I mean, we're not going to give it to Igor because he's just a temporary hire. Steroid's no good either unless we can really ramp up his agility and dexterity. So I guess we will toss this to MD. He's got a respectable strength. We'll lose the glow sticks. Most of us are packing night vision goggles at this point anyway. And we should really get him back on an SMG for the extra mobility. We'll toss the spare knives to Igor for now. You know who else could actually get good use from that machete is Grizzly. He is designed to be a heavy weapons melee guy. And he does get on with steroid. Hey, you uh, got anything else for us, boss? I liked Luigi. He was smart, but not as loyal as he should have been. In our line of work, they can't be half friends. For a half-friend is always half an enemy. But I didn't lie to you about needing help to run my business. 
I don't have Luigi anymore, and the Major is mad as a hatter. How about you and I become... partners? I help you, you help me. What do you say? Uh, sure. I mean, I already banked you twice and lost Smiley over it, so might as well go all in. Good. I will call you whenever I need help that requires your particular expertise. And in return, you are welcome to ask for my assistance whenever you need it. And take this in appreciation for bringing Luigi to me. Nice, thanks. Goodbye, my friends. And look at that. Income from all mines increased. I mean, even if it's just a slight bump, that's a lot of potential income over time. You got anything else? Welcome to my humble home. I guess not. I wonder if there are actually other things he can help us with. Or other jobs that he might want us to do for him. Goodbye, my friend. Yep, see you around, Boss Blow Bear. Oh, uh, Molly, how about you? Any parting words? Hey! How are you? You like the mansion? Isn't it magnificent? Yeah, it's all right. I wonder where Smiley is. I hope he is happy and well. Well, I mean, considering that the alternative is that he'd probably be lying dead in this courtyard, I'm going to say he's, uh, he's probably doing okay. Boo-Boo is always busy. He just worries too much. That's why I try to distract him whenever I can. Hmm. Come on! Well, you, uh, you We're crazy moving? kids have fun. We're moving. Maybe, uh, try to keep each other out of trouble. All right, so what are we doing here? Nothing in the stash. We've got a wound on Rhett. Not serious, but that does pose certain challenges. Taking out Camp Savan has to be our priority. We can weaken it by clearing the mansion. We can also weaken it by setting up a diversion in... F8? Okay, that works. And by intercepting Legion soldiers at the well in G6. Which does not work. That's both out of the way and requires us to be there a specific time of day. Which normally wouldn't be a problem, but isn't really workable in a time crunch like this. So I'm thinking Mansion, then north to F8, create a diversion, then juke west into Camp Savan, clear the place, rescue Larry, and then north and east from there. Let's check travel times. Okay, so it is faster if we go through the Mansion rather than the main road. Oof, 10 hours to get to the well, which would also put us there right in the middle of the day, so that is definitely not workable. Unless we stopped to treat that wound, but no, that's way too much of a time sink. That would be an entire day lost. All right, I got to pull the trigger. Let's go, Mansion. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Nothing is happening here. We will make something happen somewhere else. The important thing is we keep moving north. And I suppose worst case scenario, we can just take the river up to Mudwater Bridge. That is still an option. You know, I'll bet creating a diversion at F8 is an operation. In which case we might be able to treat Red at the same time. 
Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm starting to feel good about this. Mansion, F8, Diversion, Savan, then northeast to the refugee camp. Ignore the well. From there, we'll either we'll either try to take Grand Prix, or we'll circumvent it and go to Mudwater. But uh, we'll we'll see how it plays out. Okay, so nothing notable as far as enemies go. We do need to be wary with Rhett. We'll have to play this one cautiously. Oh, shoot. And we have a tired Merc. Mouse. Crap, okay. So that means no, no bold knife runs. Yeah, yeah, we'll do this one cautiously. Fair enough. We'll let her get some rest when we stop to patch up Rhett. Oh, uh, well, right off the bat, there is a minefield in our face. Right. We have the whole ghost thing. I forgot about that. And there are mines everywhere. But only outside, so that might explain why all the enemies seem to be inside the mansion. Oh, there's our ghost. Uh, yes, that does look like a very real ghost. Okay, well, you know what? Um, I am thinking we're just gonna make a straight shot for the mansion. We'll have Rhett clear a path, we'll punch inside, take these guys out. And, you know, I'll, uh, I'll just deal with the mines off screen. That'll be between episodes, and then next time we'll deal with the ghost. Let's push up. Oh, shoot. Can we... As long as there isn't a cat nearby... Right. That door is see-through. Gotcha. Ready. Moving. All right. Well, that is slightly problematic. Quiet. But it's nighttime and it's raining, so in theory we should be fine. Okay. I guess it's more the mines we have to worry about first. Let's make sure our path is clear. I mean, honestly, this does look like a decent approach. They'd be forced to engage through a choke point. We can use this. So in theory, we could just set up near these windows and doors. There's a trap here. There we go. Right, so we do have mines. Not a ton, but there are some. Any on the porch here? Whose time is it to take out the piss buckets? Don't look at me, boss. I did it yesterday. Bullshit. You dropped it when you thought you saw a damn ghost. Now the whole staircase stinks like hell. But I did see a ghost. All white, hovering above the ground, with giant horns and blood red eyes like... Like a demon. Maybe you looked in the fucking mirror. Now stop smoking that shit and go do the job. Or you won't get any share of the treasure when we find it. Gotta say, that sounds like quite a ghost. It looks Moving. slightly less impressive from here, but maybe that'll change once we're up close and personal. Oh, wait, can we? Can we wrap around? Okay. Oh, quiet. Okay, it does look like we can actually cut around back, but now the question is, is there a good reason for us to actually do that? Okay, we do have entrances on this side, but the upstairs is guarded. The gantry's choke-pointed with a ladder. That would make it problematic to get 
people up there and take them out quietly. Downstairs. Front door is barricaded, so that's not an option. Moving. Honestly, I feel like this side is our best bet. We have a single avenue of approach. They can't get to us from the second floor, so they would be forced to either engage okay. us through this choke point or to go around the side, out the front windows. And in either case, we would know exactly where they're coming from. I mean, it is uh, it is extremely likely at least a few will hang back and entrench themselves, but this should let us thin them out. My Babusia taught me to hunt this way. Then we can send in our CQC guys to rouse the holdouts. What? Let's get our guys set up in this side room here. Quiet as a church mouse. I'm good at making people ignore me. I'm thinking three rows. I will try to remain hidden. One near the door, I'll one behind the table. Hidden. One on the porch. I move in hiding. I move in hiding. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest. Jiha, Glavni, Omrin, hunt now. I shall not make a noise. Better to go unnoticed, yeah? I'll do it as quiet as I can. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. Uh, I was never good at hide and seek. Did I tell you I am great at hiding? This sneaky shit ain't my style. All right, let's get their attention. Ready to go unnoticed, yeah? It's an easy shot to make from cover. I shall not make a noise. We need... We need cleaner lines of sight. Making this shot would be like something out of a fairy tale. This sneaky shit ain't my style. I shall not make a noise. I'll do it as quiet as I can. As silent as a spirit in the moon. Good surprise shot from here. Huh? And I'm all amazed. that for a whip shot. You let me down, Kalena. I think I can, you know, get him. Um, yeah, yeah. MD present. Igor Dolch, ready. Uh, I give no guarantee from this location. Be quiet now. Actually, I guess they still don't know we're here, do they? I have the villain in my sights. Hide and shoot, hide and shoot. That is my game. There we go. For combat like this. This enemy soldier is pinned down. This shot may compromise my position. We'll just finish setting cones and hope for the best. Careful, this mouse bites. I will fall on them like a tree in the forest. 
I will wait for the puny enemies to make their little moves. Thank you, Bobby. I'll do it as quiet as I can. <laughs> I'm good at making people ignore me. Ready to, um, do stuff. And here we go. Nice, nice. Kill them all and send them to hell. And that's three. Guys upstairs are coming around. They're set up on the um, second floor overlook. Raid leader set his own cone. Whatever will we do? This is so exciting. We're clear. I'm good at making people ignore me. Does anyone have an open shot on this guy? You have order. Careful. This mouse bites. Pretty good odds, I think. That works. Ooh. Yeah! Though it was kind of beginner's luck, to be honest. Whoa! You deserve time in military prison for this. Come here! Eddie. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that, Shoot. Igor. That was not my intention. Ready to, um, do stuff. Yes? But it's just a flesh wound, so no, no real harm done. Oh. Тихо, главный. Омрин хан now. Yes. Live wire here. Presently in attendance. And here we go. This should do it. Stand resolute! That was pretty good for a girl. You should be proud of yourself. Easy there, Bobby. Igor Dovich, ready! Hello there! Feel it is fair to make me watch over everyone. Those four guys up top are problematic. We'll hang back another turn or two, see if we get lucky. Oh. I'm good at making people ignore me. Ready to um do stuff. This sneaky shit ain't my style. Yes? Yeah, we gotta get the firing lines tiered. Back line standing. Oh. Yeah. 
Fingers crossed. Scout two, out. Oh wow, they didn't even know there was a fight going on. Jalina here. I'm good at making people ignore me. I think I can do this. And then there were two. Careful. This mouse bites. Yes? I have the watch over our party. We'll hold one more turn. Give him a chance to walk into our bullets. Ready. Okay, we've got one ground level and one up top. I really would like to push up, but with that guy on the overlook right above us, that's that's just too risky. I should be working out. Yeah, all right, we'll hold back. MD present. I really do want this fight to be more exciting, but, you know, at the same time, Nobody gets past me. we can't afford to get shot up. Livewire here. This is no problem. Point. That looked really quite painful. Yeah. I am away, Glovny, but hungry. Yes? Come on, bud. Make this easy on us. Just walk down the stairs. Are you serious right now? Get your head out of your ass! Hello, evildoers! We are here to vanquish you! Okie dokie. Guess we're going in. Ready. Of course. Nice. MD present. Sure. Double nice. I'll do it as quiet as I can. There's no way they ain't gonna see me. We're basically just going to start slowly working our way up the stairs. Yes. Though the snipers might still pop him. That would be nice. It is luckier there than here, yes? Oh. Uh. Live wire here. If you need me, I'll just be here. Going right now. In my sight. I am away, Glovny, but hungry. Move now. Yeah. Moving.
All right, dude. Come MD on. Present. For goodness sake. You have order? Some mischievous spirit got in my gun. MD present. Well, that was a very interesting decision on your part. Hi. Oh. Area clear. And we're done. Follow me, or I'll just follow you. Nope, that's fine. Igor Dovich, ready. Let's get Igor patched, clear the house. And I think we're good for today. Ready to, um, do stuff. I mean, look, not the most exciting fight, but... But we got through it with no additional wounds, which was our goal. Ah, vodka will help better. Um, Michael here. Let's go. No need to rush. Come on. Sure. Steel pipe, sure. Though I would prefer chips. Sure, we'll get there. That's useful, right? Blade sharpener. Oh, can we sharpen the thing? No, sadly we cannot. MD present. Heading out. Fine. I wonder what this is. Mouse here. Huh. Yeah. Follow Igor. Oh ho, pants. We can use those. Ready for action. And a flat jacket. I don't think we need that. But we will hold on to it. Yes? We go for glory. Perhaps there is food in there. Oh, I see. Let's move. Sure. Boss us around. We'll worry about that later. We have to sweep for mines first. Door is uncooperative. Another pipe. We'll take that. And yet more cash. We'll take it. Live wire here. Fuck. Which really just leaves the exterior. We move. And the ghost. And an unknown number of mines. Um, we're going, right? Yes. We'll do. So you know what? We'll just park most of the squad here. And um. Sure. Let's see if. Getting near the ghost triggers something. Affirmative. I'll do the actual mind sweeping off screen. I just don't want to accidentally Certainly. trigger anything. There's a trap here. While uh, while I'm not recording. Lee, this place is cursed. Run while you still can. <laughs> Uh-huh. We can use this. I'm glad we just stood there and watched that happen. Um, yes, that is a very real ghost. I am very terrified right now. I'm gonna go back inside. Right, so I think this is a good place to call it. We're past time. We, uh, 
you know, we had two fights. They weren't exactly the most exciting fights, but they were important ones. And we got through them relatively unscathed. We also had a run-in with a ghost, though he mostly seems to be minding his own business. So we'll, uh, we'll hit the pause button for now. I'll go ahead and sweep the grounds, clear up all of the hazards, ping all the valuables. And we will pick up here next time. As we get to the bottom of this old haunt. See you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible, including but not limited to Revenant, Aloise, Crow King LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracket, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Emil, Excelsior, Goatleib, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark GMs, Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Rowan Church, Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. Oh, wow. We got a badass over here. <laughs>